But you had the oh, latest meeting order, special uh, meeting yeah, of the online. city of Los Alamitos. Uh, city Council, Monday, November 8th, 2021, at 6.06 p.m. Madam Clerk, calling, uh, doing roll call? Yes, I'll do a roll call for Mayor Churko. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Hasselbrink. Here. Council Member Bates. Here. Council Member Doby. Here. Council Member Nafolda. Here. Okay, first on the agenda is item 3A, consideration of providing public input to the 2020 California Citizens Redistricting Commission. Thank you, sir. I'm actually going to turn this over to the city clerk to run through just the uh, the highlights. But essentially, this is in response to the 2020 uh, redrawing of the uh, districts within California. So this item tonight um, is in regard to the process of drawing new district lines for California boundaries in its congressional, state, senate, state assembly, and state board of equalization districts. This is an opportunity for council to provide input to the commission. Um, in 2008, California voters created this commission to help assist in drawing new district lines after every census. Once the commission has approved the final maps, the maps are submitted to the Secretary of State with a report explaining the basis on which the commission made its decisions. The commission is currently reviewing map visualizations and receiving public input. Map visualizations show hypothetical district-based boundaries. Um, currently, they are in the process of reviewing um, different visualizations and drafts. They should have the preliminary draft map released no later than November 15th. Um, as we noticed today that the commission is meeting, they're in session right now until the 9th, uh, so the maps are still changing, the visualizations are still changing, so your official draft will come out no by November 15th. And with that, it's open for council discussion. Okay, does anyone have any questions or comments? I've got a few. I can start off. So, so you know, this has been put on the agenda so that we can be sure that we get an opportunity to express our um, thoughts on this. And, and um, I know there's been a lot of talk about this in the community. I've been asked by many members of the community um, about this. I think some of it, um, some of the communications out there, unfortunately, have not been as factual as they could be. Some some individuals have asked me. Are we becoming part of the city of Long Beach? Are we mm. becoming part of LA County? Mm. Is Los Alamitos going to cease to exist? None of that is true. Mm. Um, as uh, city clerk, clerk uh, Quintanar expressed, this is done every 10 years as part of the census. And this is related to the um, assembly, senate, and states, uh, and uh, uh, congressional districts and how those lines are drawn. This is a very fluid situation. Um, I just looked at the maps. It was either yesterday or Saturday, uh, and it looked like our Senate uh, district was going to be um, completely in Orange County. Our congressional district was going to be predominantly in Orange County versus currently it's predominantly in Los Angeles County and includes Los Alamitos and Rossmore. Um, and our assembly district, which currently is in Orange County, was going to be pr predominantly in Long Beach. Now that I'm looking at it, um, I'm looking on the website, we draw the line ca.org forward slash visualizations. It looks like the assembly district is now completely within Orange County, at least the current drawing. It has Los Alamitos, Rossmore, Seal Beach, um, Huntington Beach, and it looks like parts of Newport Beach as well. But of course, this is all subject to change. Um, and I think the, the entire intent of this meeting is to, to um, express our position that uh, we would like the lines to be drawn in a manner that uh, groups us with other cities that are similar in size, um, culture, and um, you know, that, that uh, um, Predominantly, size is, is a really important factor. You know, some concern is if we're lo looped in with Long Beach completely, you know, it's Los Alamitos and then most of Long Beach in one assembly district, for example, um, we don't know that the assembly person would be um, spending the requisite time here in Los Alamitos or focused on the issues that matter to residents of Los Alamitos. Anybody else uh, want to make a comment? Add on a couple notes, and part of it is, you know, being having representation in Orange County since we 
get predominantly all of our services from the County of Orange, whether it's Fire Authority, the Sheriff's within Rossmore, Sand District, OCTA. Um, it would seem very unlikely that if we had an issue surrounding something like that, that we would go to our representative that's in predominantly LA County when they would even understand what the issue is and too, that they would even care just because of our size. So um, being consistent with the Orange County uh, just makes sense just for uh, representation and they can go up and do what they need to do as part of the county as a whole. I got a slew of questions as well, but mostly regarding the school district because of the misinformation and the misunderstanding of what emphatically it was. So I would just like it to be put out there with whomever may be watching, hey y'all, that your school district will still be Los Alamitos Unified School District. Our school district does not merge with Long Beach School District. This is not about school districts, my friends. Okay, so we, we've got this resolution here which expresses our position on this matter, but we would also encourage, I would encourage um, our residents to go ahead and um, go visit the website, we draw the line ca.org. Uh, there's a section, um, a link on there called uh, public comment where you can submit public comments. Uh, we would encourage you to make, uh, make your opinion known, particularly um, as Council Member Hassel, Mayor Pro Tem Hasselbrink said, um, our desire to be included with uh, other similar cities in Orange County as opposed to uh, lumping us in with, uh, with Los Angeles County cities. With that, uh, do we have a motion on the resolution? Oh, really quick, Mark? Yes. Uh, Mayor, can you just say that one more time in case someone wants to have like an actual sound bite that they can then type out? I found that people are more likely to submit written thought if they get a little assistance in putting word to it? Sure, and we've got it on the uh, resolution. I think uh, this uh, language that was put together is uh, pretty good. I think we would, we would say that, uh, you know, the city of Los Alamitos has separate and distinct interests from the city of Long Beach and Los Angeles County. Despite geographical closeness, including home values, demographics, crime rates, community prime, pride, um, and we would uh, request that the California Citizens Redistricting Commission uh, include Los Alamitos in uh, districts which um, are part of Orange County as opposed to Los Angeles County. Thank you. I'll move it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Um, next, we've got uh, closed session. City Attorney, will you take us uh, into closed session? Thank you, Mayor. The City Council will now adjourn into closed session to discuss items 4A through D as listed on tonight's special meeting agenda. Thank you. <laughs> has returned from closed session with no reportable action taken. Thank you, Mayor. That's it? Thank you. Oh, I didn't even have to sit in my seat? Okay, whatever. Thank you for sitting in your seat. You're welcome. Oh, Tommy. Do you have, um, did you get your 700 amendment file?